Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Pops Reviews and coming back at you with another review and this time this is about the uh, Amazing Spider-Man run done by uh, Todd McFarlane. So uh, we have the big omnibus, which is kind of like the first one of the two uh, done by David Michelini and Todd McFarlane and then we have the uh, a smaller omnibus uh, maybe about half of this one as you can see by the pages uh, and this one was this exclusively done by Todd McFarlane on the Spider-Man run. So uh, I thought uh, the review would be good to just to do them both at the same time because uh, they're both in the same period of of which Todd McFarlane was doing the Spider-Man run. So uh, let's uh, open these up and uh, see what's in them and see if you guys uh, decide if you like uh, what you see or if you don't like what you see. So let me just put this one aside here and start with the... Big one here, the the first one, probably out of the two if you were to get uh, one or the other. Um, so this is the Amazing Spider-Man, Todd McFarlane, and uh, here's an iconic picture McFarlane drew. Um, so if we open this up here, I'll just take the dust jacket off here so you guys can see. And there's the cover of it, the Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus. It's like their classic, usually their Spider-Man runs, they usually do this uh, type of... Uh, this image here, their classic Marvel stuff here. So, and then if you turn it, there's this spine here. You can see Marvel Omnibus, The Amazing Spider Man, with a nice silver print. It's kind of, it has an embossed feel to it. There's the rest of the dust jacket here. And this here is collecting. So, there's the back here, if you can see this good. Sorry about the glare. So, uh, it says for the first time more than 800 pages of pivotal Spidey material by groundbreaking creators Todd McFarlane and uh, David McLeany are collected under one cover. And McLeany and McFarlane made Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson a hip happening couple in the middle of the Manhattan. They amped up the action as old school villains such as Dr. Octopus, the Sandman, the Lizard, and Green Goblin came calling. And most important, they introduced a powerful and reoccurring nemesis in Eddie Brock, the villainous Venom. So. As you can see here is the different uh, comics in this one big book here. So, and then you have the famous, as you can see here, this one here, the Spider-Man 300. That's one of the more, that's the most, one of the more famous Spider-Man issues. And um, yeah, so it collects, uh, it's collecting um, Amazing Spider-Man number 296 to 329. And the retails for well, here in Canada, it'd be 112, 113 bucks, US 100 bucks. Um, so hopefully, us Canadians, we could get it probably for around the US price. If you go to maybe your local retail comics or Amazon, they might have it for a decent price. Um, yeah, so there's this classic covers here, and then as you can see, like from the start, like they have. Uh, McFarlane started here I guess um, and then as you can see as it kind of goes on you start to see his art style really comes into play and uh, just beautiful art style that he has and it's probably it's still to me I think it still carries over to this day the way they draw Spider-Man um, his influence on the character is just amazing so let's take a look at the book itself now Spider-Man or Hobgoblin and the Green Goblin fighting it out with Spider-Man underneath there. We got a picture of Spidey. And then you have your contents page, which is nice. So you see Amazing Spider-Man number 296, January 1988. And going to 1990. Yeah, so the last 806 pages and Last one, Spectacular Spider-Man, annual number 10, 1990, Pale Reflection. So here's what I was talking about. Here's the the introduction. Let me try and get that all in there, yeah. Force of Arms. So you start off with Doc Ock, Doc, Doc Ock, sorry. And uh, so yeah, so overall this book, uh, you see a picture of Spider-Man with eyes, two dots in his eyes, that's... Always prefer him, obviously, with just the blank eyes and no dots in his eyes. But that's, I think, how they originally drew Spider-Man in the original Stanley stuff when he first started. And you still see Spider-Man with the um, black 
costume. Um, so overall, I, I had read this book, and this is a great, great, great stories in here. And um, then you just see McFarlane's influence on the book takes over, and it's just amazing. Um, the stories and the, the the art is just beautiful. The way he draws characters is just amazing. And uh, I mean, for me, this is throwing me. This is a throwback to uh, my childhood and my teens of. Um, Having these uh, comics here with Spider-Man and uh, yeah, these these were just amazing. These uh, and his run was just totally totally made you want to buy the comics when I, when I was a kid. There's the issue Spider-Man 300. So this is Venom's real official first appearance. You see Mary Jane scared from the previous because Venom had come to attack Peter Parker at their home. And uh, so she basically doesn't want Spider-Man to wear the black costume anymore. Eventually, and then you can see uh, you can see the way McFarlane draws Mary Jane, just nice and sexy, like you know, for a comic. And so yeah, his influence on these characters is just is just amazing. Would always probably stand the test of time as far as comic art. And uh, here's another here's another tidbit. Uh, when I guess reading these issues, I guess he might he might have been a fan of, as you can see here, Felix the Cat. So he always, and, and each issue he always had kind of like Felix the Cat, some or the other, hiding. So um, you see the thing the way he draws the thing here. Yeah. So this just beautifully done. Um, the stories are were nice and and uh they kept they kept uh it was it was you know a lot of action and good story and that so it's not a boring none of these are boring reads maybe the first maybe the first issues uh there with doc ock was it was all right but um that wasn't bad or anything it was, you know so definitely definitely worth reading Mary Jane Stalker in the stories there. I forget his name. Well, I guess his name is Jonah, Jonathan. I forget his last name, but uh, very good art. Just kind of skimming through for you guys because you know I want you guys to get a read. And obviously the the book holds up nice. The binding. Um, so yeah, it's very. And like I said, the stories are very good. Like you're getting a lot of good story here. Taskmaster. You get shot at Taskmaster and another cover there. So yeah, very good stories. Nothing I can't say nothing bad about this book. This book is just amazing. The art is amazing. And again, like I said, Todd, look at the way he draws Mysterio. I think he's one of the upcoming villains in the new Spider Man movie coming out soon. Um the Hydro Man. So yeah, just just uh, beautiful beautiful stories, beautiful characters. The art is amazing. So I definitely, if you're a fan of McFarlane, this is definitely worth getting here. So just skimming through you guys, there's a picture of Hydra Man. So he's the other villain in the upcoming Spider-Man movie. And you see Venom. So yeah, so this is definitely worth a get. And like I said, I'm just kind of skimming through for you guys so you guys get the idea of what you're getting here. So so yeah, this is Amazing Spider-Man run here. So just give me a sec and I'll get to the, the other book here. So you can have a look at uh, the other Omnibus by Tom McFarlane. Spider okay, so here is the other uh, Omnibus, the smaller one. Um, this is exclusively, I guess, just Todd McFarlane's stuff that he did. His own uh, writing and illustrations here on this Spider-Man run. And I think this was probably a, a last-ditch effort by Marvel to try and keep him under the wings uh, to give him a Spider-Man run of his own but of course he had other ideas in mind going to Image and doing uh, Spawn but um, yeah so that, again this is why probably this book isn't you know too big he didn't do too much and he probably he left right away kind of deal but he did do some work and it's collected here in this book and kind of a continuation lot to the other omnibus so uh, definitely worth getting if you uh, have the first one and like his art this is definitely worth getting as well um, so as you can see here, Spider-Man, and then here's the back, and 
It says, Todd McFarlane, Spider-Man, number one, changed the industry. Comic books would never be the same again. ComicsLions.com. And they weren't lying. The book that transformed comics. And uh, so as you can see here, it says, Todd McFarlane, it says, Todd McFarlane had already changed the way the... Uh, the world looked at Spider-Man, and by launching a new title, writing and drawing the wall crawler, he tore up the rule book once again. Now his entire best-selling Spider-Man series is collected in one stunning volume. So let's collect Spider-Man, uh, 1990, number 1 to 14 and 16, and X-Force, 1991, number 4. And it's written and illustrated by Todd McFarlane with Rob LaField and Fabian uh, Nicosia. So that's how you say his last name. And it goes for uh, 75 US, 95 Canadian, and you probably probably pay about in the middle for it if you're Canadian. Um, and probably and these these still I believe they still sell on Amazon. They haven't sold out and or anything like that. So you still get them for around a fair price. I know when they start to sell out, it's harder to get them. The price rate the price starts to raise, and it's harder to collect them. But I think this one is still being sold at a reasonable price if you look for it. So as you can see, here's the different Spider-Man covers that are in here. Um, so yeah, the, the ones with the Spider-Man Wolverine ones were, if I remember, they were good stories. And the X4 Spider-Man I really enjoyed as well. And then uh, Spider-Man with the Lizard is also a really good story. So let's open it up here and see what you're getting inside. So here's a nice special cover for the book here. Uh, Spider-Man, nicely illustrated by Todd McFarlane. Iconic picture. The dust jacket off. So yeah, as you can see here. Yeah, it's Spider-Man, it's full glory here. Front and back. Sublimated, so that's nice. And then, so we open up the book. Spider-Man by Todd McFarlane. Let's give you all the introductions here, and then you have your table of contents. So you have Spider-Man by Todd McFarlane, and then you have uh, so his run, Torment, Spider-Man number one, August 1990, and this is uh, a 362-page book of Spider-Man with some extras at the back, I believe, as well. So here's the nice cover here, and that's number one issue, Torment, part one of five. So, I remember this was a good story when I read it. Um, the Lizard, Spider-Man was kind of going insane. And you had, you had this, um, look at that picture of the Lizard. This, this uh, a vicious uh, enemy of Spider-Man that he, you know, drew in that way. Because, you know, the Lizard is, the Lizard is a Lizard. Sharp teeth, uh, savage-like, you know. So, and then look, let's look at the webbing and the art. Even this picture here of Peter Parker, the muscles on him. So, yeah, Tom McFarlane, he was this amazing uh, artist. And obviously he moved on to other things after this here. But this was, these stories are really good. He did really a really good job on them. They still hold up to this day, I believe. And here you see the lizard here, a dark, dark menacing figure. And then you see the doom doom in the background. That was kind of like the drum going on in Spider-Man's head. And then... So it represented a drum, but also uh, a double meaning, uh, you know, the lizard being a menace, you know. So, picture of Mary Jane. So that is, this is a really, really, really good book. Uh, you know, it's short in pages, you know, 400 pages or whatever it is. But, um, again, if you're a McFarlane fan and you really like Spider-Man and um, had the first one, this is definitely something to complete the two books. So yeah, very well done. I'm not I'm not going to go through all the pages here. I'm just giving you an idea of kind of what you're getting here with this book. But like I said, story rise, very very good. Hey, let's get to the Wolverine stuff here. Oh wow, look at look at Mary Jane here. I have a, I have a friend. He just loved the way McFarlane drew Mary Jane. <laughs> he, just, he just got a real kick out of it. You see Hobgoblin, and Ghost Rider. So yeah, very, very good stories. Look at his Wolverine here that he drew. So 
So yeah, this I really I liked I liked the story with Wolverine and Spider Man and the the Wendigo. There's Wolverine in his yellow costume. It's a classic costume. So yeah, so def definitely um, like I said, worth a buy. Uh, you see Wolverine with the Wendigo. So yeah, definitely worth a buy. I, I definitely recommend it if you're on those collector and you don't have this these two. Definitely worth a buy. And uh, yeah, no, great stories. The stories were not boring. Especially I liked. I did like this one in the back here. Here's a picture of Cable. You see the Juggernaut. So yeah, that I remember really liking the X Force. Spider-Man team up here against the Juggernaut it was a really, really good story. I thought I really liked it. A lot of action. And there's a lot on the back. You get some uh, extras by McFarlane. Extra pictures and stuff. So yeah, definitely worth a get. And um, can't say enough of good things about this. And um, yeah, so like I said, and it's still still for sale. If you ever wanted to buy it off Amazon, I think it's still reasonably sells for a good, decent price. Um, Maybe in the $80 range, but uh, yeah. So anyways, that's uh, The Amazing Spider-Man Runs by Todd McFarlane. And yeah, so uh, thanks for supporting the videos. And, and if you have any comments, questions, concerns about my videos, just uh, drop me a line. I'd be more than happy to answer you. And I uh, just thank you for all, your, for all the support uh, for people that subscribe and watch my videos. I thank you very much. And... Um, I appreciate everything uh, that, for your support. So, uh, again, this is Pops Reviews. Hopefully, I can, I'll be back with another uh, review soon. And uh, with my motto, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, all right? So, you guys take care out there and see you in the next review.